Steven with Parts Doctor. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the rear drum rollers in the Samsung dryer. The tools needed are listed in the description below. Let's get started. There are a few different reasons why you may need to replace the rear drum rollers. Over time, the bearings may wear out, causing a squeaking noise. Debris can get caught or jammed in the wheel, or a wheel can get flat spotted and cause a thumping noise while rotating. For this repair, unplug or disconnect power and water supply to the dryer. With access to the back of the dryer, remove these two screws. Next, place your foot at the bottom of the dryer. Place your hands on the top and pull towards you until the top cover releases. This may require some force. Now, remove these four Phillips screws. Next, Gently lift up on the control panel to release it, then tilt forward, being careful as it's still connected by wires. Then remove the two electrical connectors by depressing the locking tab, gently wiggling until it releases, and remove the wires from the retainers. Once the wires are removed, you can separate the control panel from the chassis. Next, remove these two Phillips screws to remove the door. Then, firmly grasp the door and lift up and out to remove. Now, remove these four screws. Next, remove these two Phillips screws beneath the door opening. Now, lift up on the panel to release it from these two retaining tabs, being careful as it's still connected to the door switch wire. Be careful as you'll be working around sharp edges. Disconnect the wire by wiggling and pulling until it releases. Then lift up on the panel assembly to release it from the chassis. Now remove the lint filter by grabbing and lifting up. Next, disconnect the moisture sensor wiring harness by depressing the locking tab and fish the drum light wire through the opening. Then remove the three screws on the lint duct Pull out and down to remove. Now remove the four screws on the front drum assembly. Then lift up on the left side. Pivot out to release the locking tabs from the slots and lift up on the right side to remove the assembly. Pull the bottom towards you, being careful as it's still connected by a wire. Then remove the wire from the retainer. Next, remove the screws on the upper frame plate.
Then fish the wiring harness through the opening. Now remove the frame plate by pulling towards you and lifting up. After locating the idler pulley, carefully slide your arm in. Then press the idler pulley to the left side of the dryer to release tension on the belt and carefully slide the belt off the drive motor and idler pulley. Next, lift up on the front of the drum and slide the belt off. Before pulling the drum, make note of what way the baffles are facing. With a baffle positioned at the bottom, the notch side faces right. You will need to position the drum the same direction when installing. Now, lift the drum off the rear rollers and remove from the dryer. We will remove the heating assembly to make removal of the drum assembly easier. Before disconnecting any of the wires, take a photo to reference later if needed. Then, disconnect the wires by grabbing and pulling off. You may need to use a needle nose pliers. Now, remove these two Phillips screws. Next, disconnect the water line on the water valve by removing the locking tab, pressing the blue retainer in while pulling the water line out. Now, on the back of the dryer, remove these seven screws. Next, carefully lift up on the assembly to remove it from the mounting tabs and dryer. The drum rollers are located here and here. Now, using an impact wrench and 17 millimeter socket, remove the nut and washers on the backside of the roller. We struggled to remove the nut with a wrench. You may also find it difficult. If you have a bad drum roller and you need to purchase a new one, you can check out our website, partsdoctor.com. We'll leave a link in the description below. You wanna make sure you're searching with the model number from the tag on your dryer to make sure you get the correct part. The rollers are sold individually from the manufacturer so if you're replacing more than one, make sure you order the correct number. Also, the two washers and nut are not provided with the new part. You will need to transfer from the original and use on the new one. To install the roller, slide a washer on the shaft, insert it through the opening, followed by the other washer and nut. Then tighten down. To reinstall the drum assembly, align the brackets with the tabs. And reinstall the screws. Next, reconnect the water line by aligning and pushing back in place. Then, install the locking tab. Install the heater assembly by inserting it into the rear duct, aligning the retaining tab and setting in place. Then, reinstall the two screws. Now, reconnect the wires by aligning and pushing back in place. If needed, reference your photo from earlier.
To install the drum, you'll need to make sure to position it so it sits on top of the rear drum rollers. To install the belt, lift up on the front of the drum, slide it over, and gently work the belt to the center of the drum. It is very important to make sure the belt is not twisted. Next, reach inside the dryer and place the belt over the drive motor and beneath the idler pulley. This may be tricky as you need to guide the belt in place by touch as it's difficult to see. With the belt back on the motor and idler pulley, it should rotate when you rotate the drum. Only rotate the drum clockwise. Spinning the drum the wrong direction may cause the belt to come loose from the motor or idler pulley. Now, install the upper frame plate by aligning the tabs on the left and right side, inserting and pulling the main body to align until it seats back in place. Then, reinstall the five screws. Then, fish the wiring harness through the opening. And reinstall the harness into the retainer. Next, place the door switch wire back into the retainer. Insert the top of the front assembly and align the retaining tabs on the sides. You may need to raise the drum for the rollers to seat properly under the drum and allow the tabs to seat in place. Now, reinstall the four screws. Next, install the lint duct. Followed by the screws. Now, reconnect the moisture sensor wiring harness by aligning and pushing until it snaps in place and rerun the drum light wire through the opening and retainer. Then, reinstall the lint filter. To install the front panel, start by aligning the slots on the panel with the tabs on the chassis. Then, tilt the panel up and reinstall the door switch wire by aligning and pushing until it seats back in place. Make sure the wires don't get pinched between the front panel and chassis. Then, push the panel until it seats back in place. Then, reinstall the six screws. With the hinge swung outward, we'll first need to start by aligning this screw with this opening and set the door in place. Then, reinstall the two screws. To install the control panel, start by inserting the tabs on the panel into the openings on the chassis. Now reconnect the two electrical connectors by aligning, pushing till they snap in place, and reinstall the wires into the retainers. Then tilt the control panel back in place and reinstall the four screws. To reinstall the top cover, make sure the rear of it, which is noted by the gray pieces, is facing the rear of the dryer. Align the top cover guides to the opening in the top cover.
continue to push forward until it locks back in place. Next, reinstall the two screws. With everything put back together, plug the dryer in, test it out, make sure everything's working properly. So that's it for this video. If you learned something new, hit that like button. And if you enjoy fixing things, please consider subscribing.